Even complete beginner can make a lot of money, gold and experience by doing this mission in Red Dead Online. Because all you need to complete it is bow arrows and this step by step solo guide. So even on level 10 it will be really easy and you can earn up to 1.44 gold bars, $200 and more than 3000 experience points per one mission. It's enormous payout and not only for Red Dead Online beginners, but it's only because of triple payouts that are taking place in October. Later payouts will be regular, but still pretty good for beginners. Also, it's kind of fun because you're gonna be like a stealthy hitman killing bad guys in Blackwater. Anyway, before starting the mission, make sure that you have enough arrows. Also, you will have to have some dead eye tonics with you and just in case health tonics. I mean, if you will follow this guide carefully, you're not gonna use health tonics, but you know it's still better to have them. So order and pick up from mailbox arrows and tonics and then open menu, go to telegrams, choose scalding contract and then strong medicine. There are three different difficulty levels for each telegram mission, standard, hard and ruthless. But you cannot choose a difficulty level, you have to complete each mission on standard, then on hard and then only on ruthless. But don't worry, if you will complete it in full stealth, there will be no difference at all only payout will be higher. So matchmaking will try to find you teammates for this mission and usually fail. So you will start this mission solo and it's a good thing actually, because if there will be some teammates with you, it will lead to additional problems. We're gonna talk about this later. Now, just like in any other Red Dead Online mission, there is a hidden timer that starts right now, at the moment when you appear on the map and get control of your character. This timer will stay hidden but it affects payouts, so I suggest you to use your own timer on a watch or phone. Anyway, eat food because you want your course to be full and drink that eye tonic. Then go to yellow area. No need to dismount here, just wait until Lee will get on the horse and follow him. He rides pretty slowly, but even if you know where you need to go, you will still have to follow him because game wants you to be close to Lee all the time during this mission. So just ride and enjoy the view. When he will stop, dismount, duck and get to this bush. Make sure that you are in stealth mode, your icon should be grey on the minimap. Now, from all NPCs, only threat for you are usually NPCs that are patrolling, moving around, like this one. So wait until he will go behind these boxes and quickly kill NPC that is right ahead of you. Always aim for the upper side of the hat, even hat is fine and use painted black ability card. And yes, there is a forced free aim in this mission. Do not aim for the neck, because they might not die from the one arrow and then you will be in trouble. Anyway, then move a little bit forward and kill NPC from the right side and only then kill NPC who's patrolling, he will be staying here. From here it's pretty safe, move a little bit forward but not too much and kill NPC from your left and then the last one one who's standing close to the campfire. As you can see, for each kill you are getting additional 20 experience points, because there is a forced free aim, and also if you're not a high level, yet you will see that you are leveling up your health bar, because you are making kills with the bow. And by the way, I'm completing this mission with my second low level character, to show that it's easy for beginners. Anyway, pick up arrows, loot some NPCs, and then follow Lee. When you will get here, yellow arrow will appear on the map, so duck and quickly go on the road, but be careful. You will see one rider patrolling the area, kill him with a clean headshot. Don't worry, there are no other NPCs around, but still be a little bit careful. Now use second the Diatonic and follow Lee again. He will stop here and you just duck close to him and explore from stealth. There are two patrolling NPCs in this area, one is on your right side with a lantern and second one is right in front of you. You want to kill this second NPC first when he will be close to the white horse. So wait until he will get there and kill him. Then immediately kill second NPC who's standing a little bit to the right. Then make sure that patrolling NPC with the lantern on your right walked away and kill this NPC who's standing close to the lantern. Then quickly but carefully move so you can see this patrol 
an NPC and kill him as well. It's probably the hardest part in the mission, but if you do doing everything quick, you will be fine. Now go back to where Lee is standing and kill this NPC who's taking care of a horse. Again, don't get too close. Then carefully get to this wagon, to the place where dead body is lying and kill the last NPC who's standing right here. As always, keep the distance. Pick arrows, loot bodies and follow Lee. But even though you know where to go, don't run away from him because sometimes he bugs and something like this happens. Anyway, get close to saloon, stop and kill this NPC, it's unnecessary but just in case. Then carefully enter saloon through this door and without moving ahead kill this NPC who's drinking at the table. After that, turn left, pick up knife, get to this NPC from behind and make an execution by pressing B on Xbox controller or circle on PlayStation. Now you can make an execution with a bow or you can make a kill with the bow, but sometimes for unknown reason it alarms other NPCs. Then carefully staying close to bar counter, get to stairs and go on a second floor. Kill this bandit from behind and the last NPC will be sleeping on a couch. I suggested to kill him with help of headshot using painted black because executions against sleeping NPCs are working weirdly in Red Dead Online. And now you're done here, so follow Lee again. He will stop here stand up for some reason and then sit back again. You wanna sit few steps behind him, wait until patrolling NPC will show up and make a super easy headshot. Now the last part is pretty easy, but if you will break stealth here, you will have a lot of problems, unlike with any previous part, so be careful. Move left and kill NPC standing close to this wagon. Then move a little bit further and go across the street, from there move to this box and hide here, don't go any further. Watch for this NPC who's patrolling, wait until he will stop moving and will hide behind the boxes, then kill this NPC and very quickly kill the patrolling one. Only after that kill NPC on your left who's standing and looking at the river for some reason. Now turn right and look at the wagons, there are a few more patrolling NPCs, kill first one when he will stop right here. After that kill NPC who's standing at the wagon and this sleeping drunk. You want to kill him because he will alarm the guards otherwise. Obviously don't forget about the last patrolling guard, you need to kill him as well. Just don't get close to him. And now just get on the wagon and drive, there will be no problems if you killed everyone from stealth. When you will get to delivery point, usually it will be around 15 minutes on your time. Timer. But if it will be less, wait until there will be exactly 15 minutes on your timer because it will increase the payout. Also, if you want to receive maximum payout, which happens if you spend exactly 30 minutes on a mission, you might do some daily challenges while waiting, or maybe gather some flowers, so on. But I still suggest you to complete this mission in 15 minutes exactly because amount of money, gold and experience per minute will be much higher. Also, cooldown between missions will be much lower. Now very quickly, if you will be unlucky and matchmaking will find you a teammate, the only difference will be that on most bandit spawns there will be two bandits staying together that you need to kill at the same moment, not to make an alarm. So try to communicate with your teammate and choose who's killing which NPC, or get ready to fight. And by the way, if you are a beginner, you will find a lot of helpful fighting and grinding tips optimal settings and stuff like that in my step-by-step -step complete beginner's guide for Red Dead Online that you now see on your screen. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.